Factsverse presents 10 Tourists That Left Irreversible Marks on History After One Clumsy Move Many people love to travel. They love to visit museums, zoos, and other popular tourist destinations. When you're traveling, you need to be careful, not only for your own safety, but for the safety of the people and places that you visit. We have 10 tourists that left irreversible marks on history after making a clumsy move. First, why don't you drop down to the comments and let us know what your favorite tourist destination is. Also, while you're here, be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss our future videos. Hole in a Painting A 12-year-old Taiwanese boy was visiting a Taipei museum when he tripped and fell. Unfortunately, he did not just fall on the ground. He fell into a 350-year-old oil painting, putting a hole right in the middle of it. The painting is called Flowers, and an Italian painter named Paolo Porpora painted it. The estimated cost of the painting is $1.5 million. According to the exhibition's coordinator, Sun Chi Zhuan, the boy was very apologetic, and fortunately the art was insured. Rome's Colosseum Okay, yeah, the Colosseum in Rome is already in ruins, but hey, why wouldn't it be? I mean, it is ancient. But time is not the only thing responsible for damage to the Colosseum. Two men from Brazil, they hopped the fence right before dawn one day and spray-painted the walls. Fortunately, the men were caught and they were arrested. King Dynasty Vases In 2007, a man named Nick Flynn was visiting Cambridge's Fitzwilliam Museum. He tripped on one of his shoelaces and fell down the stairs, crashing into a display of 17th-century King Dynasty vases, destroying them all. He caused $800,000 worth of damage. But he wasn't charged. The authorities began to wonder if maybe this really was an accident when they discovered that he was arrested and banned from another museum. The Great Pyramid of Giza when a photograph of a Danish photographer named Andreas Vid and a woman in a compromising position on top of the Great Pyramid of Giza surfaced, Egyptian authorities had to investigate. Andreas claimed the photo was fake, but he did admit to scaling the monument, and that in itself is illegal. Sandstone Coffin A family visited what was once a UK monastery. It's now a museum called Prittlewell Priory and they had their baby with them at the time, and they thought it'd be a great idea to put the baby in an 800-year-old sandstone coffin. They assumed it would be a good photo opportunity. But instead, disaster struck. After laying the baby in the coffin, it cracked. The family may not have meant any harm, but they just destroyed a piece of history. London's Tate Modern Gallery Vladimir Umanets doesn't have much respect for other people's property, or for history in general for that matter. In 2012, he spray-painted a note in black on a painting. It was an abstract expressionist painter Mark Rothko's work of art. He didn't get away with it, and he was arrested. For his crime, he was sentenced to two years in prison. After being sentenced, he probably regretted doing it. Dom Sebastio Statue A 24-year-old man went to a museum in Portugal. He wanted to take a selfie alongside a 126-year-old statue of Don Sebastio, who was a highly honored Portuguese ruler. When taking the photo, the man lost his balance, and the statue fell to the ground, crumbling into pieces. The Portuguese authorities were furious, of course, and they were planning to press charges. According to legend, Dom Sebastio's spirit will one day return to Portugal riding a white horse to reclaim his throne and get his revenge and now he'll also have to get revenge on that guy who destroyed his statue. Chinese Jewelry Store When visiting a foreign location, you're likely to come across a jewelry store somewhere. And a woman was visiting China, she went into a jewelry store in the southwest part of the city. She was browsing around the store and saw a gorgeous jade bracelet. When she tried it on, she saw the price tag and then began to panic. Well, her panic caused her to drop the bracelet and it broke into pieces. Seeing the expensive bracelet broken on the floor, it caused the woman to just faint right there. There's no word as to whether the woman had to pay for any or all of the portion of that bracelet. Let's hope not. Baby Bison at Yellowstone Park This is by far one of the saddest examples of a tourist destroying something. A group of tourists was visiting Yellowstone National Park. 
and while at the park, they saw a baby bison. They worried that the bison would freeze to death, so they loaded him into the car to take him to the nearest ranger station. But when they got him there, they realized they'd made a grave mistake. The tourists were told that because they intervened with the baby bison, it would never be accepted back into his family, and it had to be put down. Euthanized. Killed. The ranger told the group these animals are equipped to handle cold winter weather and we should just leave them alone. Art by Francisco Goya and Salvador Dali A group of women who traveled to Russia went to visit the International Art Center Main Avenue in Yekaterinburg. They wanted to take a selfie in front of an art display by renowned artists Francisco Goya and Salvador Dali. The women unfortunately knocked down the entire wall and the glass of Goya's artwork broke. Salvador Dali's frame was also damaged and the picture itself was damaged. Fortunately, the museum declined to press charges. Thank goodness for insurance. Have you ever accidentally broken something at somebody's house or in their business? What happened? Tell us in the comments and subscribe for more.